Hey Jack, it's uh, June 7th already and uh, we're doing our first Terrapeak uh, video of June. Oh God, unbelievable, isn't it? It is. It's gonna Time be stops for no one, Ben. Hottest day since 2004 is what they're saying today. You're so kidding me. It's a scorcher. Try to That's stay great. cool. All right, so you said you wanted to see the uh, top ones, not just yeah. the ones under yeah. 100. So I'd like we're to see the top ones. We'll see the whole, whole game here today. Last seven days, what do we got going on here? Pretty low average, $46. Our number one was $332. This was a lot of nine vintage trains. And um, I would just call them fair to uh, poor, mm -hmm. poor condition. Uh, oh, Lionel, huh? This, this lot came from a guy who's... Uh, it was his father's collection, and uh, he didn't know anything about it. The, the mother held on to it for 25 years, and now they want to clear the space out. So sure. he said, get, get what you can for it, and he brought literally a whole pickup truck full of trains. And the hardest part about this was sorting through sure. boxes and boxes of parts and pieces to find out what was worth listing. Um, so this lot we put together, these are all kind of related trains, um, but I guess you know, like I said, the condition's not that great, and the one that really seemed to bring the most money um, was this particular Is train. Is the milk? It's got a guy in it. It's the Soul Line. Yeah. S-O-O-L-I-N-E. Yeah. And it, the guy moves in that train. Now, the only reason I know that that one was worth the most money was when the guy that won it emailed me. He said, please pack them well and especially put this particular train in a special box because this one was worth the majority of the price he paid. So he lo They load. With that, the little guys are loader when they stop. Oh. They got them with milk too, delivering milk you know, in and out of the car. It's pretty neat. They're neat. Yeah, so if you see one of those with the moving guy, it's worth paying a little bit for. Like I said, this lot of nine did uh, $332, but the guy said that the, most of the money was in that one, wow. one car. Um, those are all Lionel, by the way, and uh, a lot of the newer stuff doesn't do well. This is older. Like I said, the ladies had it for 25 years, so the, the and the dad had it, dad had it for a long time too. Probably nice. around the 1940s is my yep. guess. Nice stuff. Um, next one is a more modern Yamaha uh, home theater receiver. And as you know, a lot of people now are getting those flat flat screen TVs. Yep. And, setting up theaters in their houses so this stuff you know this is in really good condition I think somebody just downsized so it's a fraction of what it cost new but still sold for three hundred ten dollars nice uh, number three and this is an interesting one this one is a guitar that our consigner handmade out of a kit he made it he made it so oh. he put together the pieces and he painted it a silver color and it almost I almost was a little bit worried about listing it because um, he actually put a Fender sticker up on the top and it's not a Fender. So we didn't list it as a Fender. If you look, we listed it as a custom silver fretless kit guitar, tell a headstock. We didn't say anything about yep. the word Fender. Yep. Um, but if you looked at the pictures, you would see that it did say Fender on it. So eBay didn't complain about it and it did go pretty well. $266 for yeah, it went real well. a homemade guitar and uh, I think it was they liked the color on it. It was a cool shiny silver color. Hey, number four. This was a big surprise. This is a derailleur from a bike. Started out at $25 and sold for $159. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, right, that surprises me too. Now I can't tell you what makes this one worth that much money. I can tell you what it looks like. It says XTR on it and uh, it looks like a part that might be in a box of parts that you'd yep. probably not think was worth anything. Yep. So if you see XTR on this bike derailleur, XTR, grab it because that thing's worth a gold mine. And as soon as this one sold, the guy said I got another one just like it and wow. he bought me another one. Wow. But you got to be a bike guy to know what they look for and I and all I can tell you is XTR is what to look for. How many bidders? That one had 13 bids wow. on it. Wow, it was popular. And then, last but not least, is our uh, $140 Sun Server. 
And these come from companies when they downgrade, they or when they upgrade rather, they, they get rid of their old stuff. Yeah. They, they strip them out. They take out all the hard drives so there's no customer data on them or huh. anything. So whoever buys them has to rebuy the hard drives and reinstall the operating system. So it sold for $140. It's uh, probably three to four year old technology. It weighs a lot. Seems like a good price for it. Yeah, you know, it's it's probably a guy that's going to buy it is maybe learning to, to run the systems out of yeah. his house and he can he can play around with these and then when he goes to work he doesn't have to risk sure. you know messing up the real systems all right jack well that that wraps up our top five today it's not uh not too exciting only 332 dollars is the high so <coughs> but good information yeah hopefully next week we'll go a little bit higher get some uh some more interesting items in here it'll happen all right thanks a lot jack thank you take it easy